Fox 55's Kelsey Mannix is live tonight with more on the incident. She's been on the story all day. Kelsey, tell us what's happening at the scene now and what community members are telling you. Thanks, Chris. I am here on Gay Street where earlier today there was a heavy police presence. It's died down a little bit now. I'll move out of the way here. This is the house that was in question earlier today. You can kind of see the um, the caution tape around it still. And there's a couple of police cars around here. And again, it's less busy than it was earlier today. Neighbors and people from the community and the family gathered around here today trying to process what happened. Clearly, they were all shaken by what happened. And I spoke to some community leaders today who are encouraging people to keep this family in their thoughts and also come together and support them. Every time you hear it, it bothers you. Every time you see it, it bothers you. Today was no different for Pastor Robert Rembert. This time, three young children and their mother are dead. Nothing justifies taking the life of the kids and their, and their, and their mother. Mario Bell lives on Gay Street in Southeast Fort Wayne. He can't believe what happened to his neighbors. Sad, more than sad. I mean, something need to be done about some of this stuff, man. Pastor Lewis King, coordinator of the Ten Point Coalition, says neighborhoods are supposed to be comfortable and safe for everyone. You want a place that, that children can um, play in and, and that people can feel safe in their environment. And, and when you come across something like this, it is definitely tragic. It's a tragedy for our community. He says community support is critical in situations like this. When these things arise, we have to wrap around the family and just come around as support. So that is what we've been out here today, uh, comforting the family during their time of need. Rembert says we should work to be kinder to one another to prevent future tragedies. We have to start loving one another. Most generally, something that you love, you don't hurt. So if we can learn to love one another, watch out for one another, and pray for one another would be a big help. When young lives are taken too soon. And this family is going to need support right now. And, and when you think about the loss of children and the lives that, that are, are, are lost, you know, we, we all have to come together. And Chris, Java, the Victims Advocacy Organization, tells me they're not sure of the, rela the exact relationship this man had to the children, but they do know they were not re like related as in family. Police are still trying to determine what exactly that relationship is. And also police are still investigating the cause of death and also why the suspect fled to Lafayette. And we'll have more on this story. We'll keep following it in the coming days. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, I'm Kelsey Mannix, Fox 55 News. Thank you, Kelsey. And the family released a statement today through the Justice, Accountability and Victims Advocacy Group, that job group you just heard about, saying in part, this is a very devastating time for our family. Please allow us time to process the events of today. Our daughter was a very special person. The family asks that everyone respect their privacy at this time.